icons, to the icons. Uh, let me show you a few things. Um, this is the analog clock. It's like the, the sort of classical uh, analog watch, and we wanted to show that Pebble, you know, can basically imitate a lot of classic uh, analog watches. Fuzzy time, which tells sort of the time. I mean, like, what time is it now? Well, it's 25 to 6. I think maybe we'll make, like, a weekend mode where it's just, you know, it's <laughs> six-ish or something like that. And then a vacation mode, which is just, like, dinner time, you yeah. know. The cool thing with Pebble is that you can do all of this because it's, like, a digital screen, right? You can make it any sort of watch. Yeah, and you can make it any sort of watch you want. Um, classic. This was the, uh, the first watch face we ever made for Pebble. Um, we showed it off in the Kickstarter video. We just thought that it was, like a great example of what Pebble can do because I don't think I've ever seen another watch face that can like slide in and out um, when it changes time. This one's hooked up to my iPod Touch so it's actually controlling um, music right here and one of the really cool things about Pebble is like we've, we've worked a lot on the Bluetooth system and it's it's extremely snappy so like the uh, the Bluetooth connection is really really quick you can scan through music um, the the iPod that's actually playing over there is being controlled by Sarah's Pebble, so if you hear it change, that means she's, uh, she's fiddling with it. Um, yeah, let me show off the uh, app on iOS. So we wrote it. You did a great job, I just got to say. Thanks. Uh, and I appreciate that you didn't like rush it to market, because... It, well, it, I mean, you did so many we, good we things. We did our best. You did so many good things with it, though. We, like, we did our best. It's so awesome. This is the TikTok time where it, it was just a fun watch face that's, that someone wrote. Um, it counts time by playing tic-tac-toe against itself. Whenever the X character wins, the minute hand increments, and whenever the O character wins, the hour hand increments. So it's kind of like the time is actually the scoreboard for the game. Um, oh, so the X guy just won. So it was... Yeah, so this is the, the Pebble app. Um, we built the Pebble app. So on iOS, the operating system actually gives us a whole amount for free. Like, we use all the Bluetooth profiles to do most of the communication. So we use AVRCP to do, uh, to do the um, uh, music control, and we use MAP on iOS 6 to do notifications, and we use the um, HFP profile to do uh, phone calls. So, yeah, it, it works pretty well. On the, on, so on the iOS app side, um, the app really just maintains the connection to the Pebble, and it provides the over-the-air updates. So whenever there's another update, the app will you know, alert you, and you just click one single button on the app, it takes a minute, and your watch reboots with a new version of the firmware. So you know, as, as we mentioned yesterday, uh, we've, we've pledged to continue, the, um, continue our sort of like two to three week update trend, but instead of just posting text updates about the manufacturing process, we're going to be posting a new firmware update for Pebble every two to three weeks. So that's just, uh, that's just you know, trying to show how committed we are to making it even better. Um, there's little notifications where you manage which notifications you want to receive on your Pebble. And uh, a rudimentary sort of what we call the watch app library. Uh, right now it just hosts a couple different watch faces that we've written. But you know, as soon as we uh, get the SDK a little bit further out there, um, you'll see more apps show up there. Yeah, and it's, it's extremely easy to just install a new app on, on your Pebble. You just click a button there. And yeah, it takes, I think, like six seconds. And the app installs on your watch. So, uh, so that's Pebble. And there's a bunch more features. I can show off some notifications, but yeah, that's uh, that's it. Why don't you guys um, try it out? Put it on your wrist and see so what happens. One of your updates, you mentioned that there was a huge difference between the Android and iOS thing. I don't right? think I mentioned that in any updates. I think there was one update where we said that we had achieved um, SMS and iMessage notifications on iOS, and that was one of the things that was lacking uh, up to that point. Yeah, no, they're, so, they're so both pretty cool. parody? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're not going to be identical because they're different operating systems, but, I mean, we're in the office, we're all Android users and we're all iPhone users, so... What about FaceTime? FaceTime? Fa uh, yeah, actually, FaceTime implements the same profile as um, HFP, so whenever you get a new FaceTime, the watch vibrates and it actually shows the name of the person who's, uh, who's calling. Okay, let me show what phone call notifications look like. I'm just going to show some demos. So this is what uh, whoops, that's just ping. This is what an email looks like. It's tough to to show, I know, but uh, 
guys can check oh, it out. Sorry, um, I'm sorry. No, no, go ahead. So you get practically, um, you get the entire message, or you know, a, a couple, a couple paragraphs of the message sent to the watch. You can actually scroll through and see it there, um, and then dismiss it if you want. And it vibrates. And SMS. Yeah, it vibrates and, and then lights up right away when the uh, when the message comes in. You can also get like Facebook. Sir. So no, it actually has a backlight as well. So if you turn off that light. Um, you can see that uh, when you flick your wrist, the backlight comes on. So, and also whenever you get a new notification or something like that. What's Do you up? have the option of like when you get a text message if you want to see it or not? If you shake it, I know uh, it always comes through. It always watch. comes. But through. I mean, you could turn off any notification types you want. Right. What's up? Flick to eliminate. Yeah. How does that affect you if you're like running? It just turns out a lot. Does that affect the battery substantially? No, we might have an option. I think. Oh, we already have an option to turn off the backlight if you don't want it. Does it tell you when you have a low battery? On the watch? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, I mean, battery. the battery lasts for about seven days. So. That's amazing. Yeah. That's, and I love the charger. That's yeah, we've got the charger hanging out the charger right, is well, really somewhere. Cool. Anyways, they're all wondering around. Where's the charger? Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's magnetic. Everyone's got a lot of cool watches on. I'm looking forward to hearing what you guys think of this one, then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm Dave Vondel with the Central Standard Time. Oh, yeah, yeah. sweet. I just uh, saw your, your post the other day. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Stuff. Yeah, I, I like to share it because that looks pretty awesome as well. You made a batch. Yeah. 